was kind of deep in thought, right? And I was thinking about what if, like, one day, because, you know, it was like all the, the walks in Cali when all, they had, like, the gang walk where, you know, people, the um, YG and all them had their gang walk. And I had watched and it's the just interview. all that same they was doing like, just like, peace. together? Like, yeah, they were just together. Oh, okay, okay, and okay. I'm thinking, okay. like, what if, like, in Chicago, everybody just, you know, called it. I know this will never happen, but we're doing what if scenario, mm-hmm. right? But what if everybody just stopped all these wars and everybody just got along? They were just love and peace, like, in all the hoods all across the country, right? And I was like, what business would be the most affected if it was, like, peace in the hood? <laughs> Jail. No. Gas stations. Gas stations, 90% of their business is the hood, bro. Uh, now, listen. I thought you were going to say 90% of their business going up because nobody going to be scared to go to the gas stations because no. they won't get shit there. No. <laughs> Think about all the business baggies. Let me get black and miles. Let me get some. Let me get a blunt. Low key, me, people don't get, know that they it. sell that in the hood gas oh. stations. Oh, you go to the right city. They don't sell that here, <laughs> but you go you to go Chicago, right, you, you can get, get whatever you, you need. Can get a, a pack you of baggies. Can, yep, you can go in there and get right. You know what I'm you saying? You can probably get vows at certain gas stations. It's crazy. Probably can. You know what I'm saying? They got the lick in there. You got all that. You got the teas in there. You got you got all that stuff. Hoodies. You got everything. Hold on. Shout the fitness forever. If you watching live from Dubai. Shout out to you. We oh, for do. real, bro. Shout out to We out here internationally, bro. And the all dude who, we shout out to Lyrical Joe Producer, who produced that last one yeah, we reacted to. to him, to. Yeah, for sure. he, shot, he reacted to us, and he uh, saluted us or whatever. So I'm pretty sure we can still do this one on um on live. My bad to interrupt you, oh, but no, you right, Holly, shout him out. The, the Lucy's, you know what I'm saying? You can go get all that. If you, if you had peace and harmony, bro. People wouldn't have to be going to convenience stores. People wouldn't be worried about their life, <laughs> bro. People would go save money. The convenience stores would even be cheap. <laughs> you know what I'm They'd be killing you with the Lucy's, all that, bro. I'm telling you, gas stations would be like out of business in the hood, bro. We start That'd getting be, like, way say, better stores. We start getting Walmart's to come back now. Ain't nobody dying. People would uh, the 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 talented people would probably eat too because now they can work with each other type exactly. stuff. All of these all of these things will be great. And then the people who are not talented they can be getting content from the people that are and just being around in the environment because YouTube is a whole another check now for people, especially for the young people. Look, you're right. All of that would be, be crazy. It'll be great. It'll be great. Everybody It'll working together happen. It never would happen. It'll though. never happen. Not in Chicago. Sad. And I mean, you would think, you know what? I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. I haven't been there. I don't know. Maybe one day it will, because I'm sure people used to say that about L.A. So maybe one day it will be peace and people could come together. But it just seemed like it's, it's just seemed like it's too much hate at this moment for me to think that. And people are still too young, I think, is a big factor. Like... When I was growing up in Chicago, it wasn't, it was this, but it wasn't this bad. You might get jumped on. That was the worst thing I was scared of. I don't want five, six people beating up on me and then I end up in the hospital. A one on one fight, I could do if I got to, whatever. But a six on one or a five on one or not being able to go over there, they thinking I got to run from over here. I ain't never had to worry about nobody shooting me just on a random. So it's a different thing. So I feel like it's a newer thing. In Chicago, newer being in the last 10, 15 years, as opposed to L.A., where they've been dealing with this since I was a kid. Like, I used to look at L.A. like, no, nah, they game bang out there. So See, I think now that they can come to a piece, that I feel like we in the early stage and we not at a I, time yet. Maybe we need another 15, 20 I, I more years. I think everything you said definitely got true to it because I think it was kind of like that when I was younger up until a certain point where, like, yeah, you might have to worry about somebody trying to jump you or something, but, like, when nobody really going to you at yeah. that point but not on purpose well most for the most part but not for the little stuff they the stuff that's going on now because you could definitely do stuff to get but yeah but i, I think back know, in, in uh, i think in uh, cali uh, in I'm general sorry, historically it was always very structured though so they do got ogs they do got big homies they do got more structure so they they street element in general so to get something like that put together really all you got to do is have the ogs and the people that's respected get together put it together and say yo this will be going to do. And if you go against this, this mm-hmm. was the, the consequence is going to be for that because they're more structured mm-hmm. places like Chicago, Milwaukee, New Orleans, you know, other places, Baltimore, these places, Philly, it ain't, it ain't that kind of a structure per se. So it's like people can do something and they just do something. And it's like, it's hard to bring that together collectively and say, yo, 
we going to, you know, be for the betterment of everybody. We want everybody to be safe. Let's work together. But And that keeps so much talent from working with each other. So imagine, imagine if, and this never would have happened, but imagine we could have had like a King Von and like FBG Duck song. We don't know mm-hmm. what that song would have sounded like. You know what I'm saying? Or just them being um, a pillar of peace and them living long enough to be like, hey, now nah, let's squash this and put this down because now we both got millions. Let's say FBG and Dirk on the same level. They got, it's, it's a lot of things lot that could have been ifs and all of that. but Even like you know. Julio, Julio, and Ace. Imagine if that would have just got fixed up to where they, they could have worked together and show like, you know, yeah, it's, I mean, but like I said, I hate to use those examples because it was. I know because it, it was some stuff be so harsh, it crazy. It was so crazy stuff harsh. That's why I'm saying in general. Like that's saying, I don't even want to. I don't even want to use Florida because no, they did some stuff that Chicago didn't even do. They was they wow. And bro. Jim, you got to relax, man. Deep dish is a blessing from God. Okay, and no, my, my point is deep like, dish pizza. I never go to Chicago and not get that. No, my, my and White Castle. Okay, Drift. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> no, my point is like when you dealing when you dealing with like those kind of issues though, in general, what if they never existed? What if it was already peace? It never would have been all the, oh, it, the background stuff that makes it like now. It's kind of like way too far gone. You, for it, peace it, it was it was peace enough. It was peace enough, and then I don't look. I ain't finna get into all of that. But look, it was peace enough before, and then some stuff happened, which caused some other stuff to happen. And then the snowball effect of reactions start happening. And it's always back. It's always this now. And then it just gets bigger and bigger. And then you get. I think it's cool dirt. now, though. Millions I think, of people. I think Shout like, out to Lil Dirk. I got him on my team on 2K. I think in our era, we. um, I got to figure out how to do that, too. I seen somebody else. I send you the. Uh, yeah, the I, I send you the downloadable. Uh, but roster. no, I seen. Um, you just, made, you just threw me totally off my, my bad. <laughs> I got all of them. I got oh, true skill um, and everything. So you're talking about like it, it go tit for tat. I think somewhere within this new generation, it just became fun. Cause like I feel like it's a couple generations from ours. And our generation, people wanted to get money, bro. <laughs> we came from like the BMF era. People wanted to find a way to get money without having to work a nine to five all the time. Some people tried Illegal way. Some people try legal way. Some people did a mixture of both. Some people, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to do comedy, whatever it was you were trying to do, music, whatever. People wanted to make some money. Now, we we like a couple errors from that. This error, bro, they want to talk about their hats. That's what they own, bro. I got seven hats. They be like 16. I got seven hats. Like, this mm-hmm. is just the, this the era they in, and it's like, it's sad because if, if your mentality is that, like I'm just trying to talk about my hats, bro, it ain't it, it ain't no room to squash that. <laughs> like, cause that's what your mind on. And I don't think our era was on that. We wasn't thinking nah. about, you know what I'm saying? Even the people who had them, they weren't discussing it. Now, oh no, they like they go on live and they go catch that go catch it and then go on live ten minutes later and start getting yeah, smoking, whoever the, you know, yeah, it's crazy, bro. These location. Young dudes I was crazy. there. Yeah, like, I was there, officer. They be at the scene. They be going live from the scene. I be like, yo, these young boys is crazy. <laughs> Just caught it. Nah, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh, I'm a square, bro. These young dudes be go wild. live with a new song after the. Sh- Just caught up on a. <laughs> I seen some, bro. Speaking of, I, I can't, I can't remember. His, I wouldn't even say his name. No way. I was just watching this one content creator I make. Uh. And he showed a video from somebody from Chicago. But the dude pulled up on on live, pulled up on, you know, 12, <laughs> talked crazy to 12, skirted off on 12, started a, a high-speed chase through the city on live. That video street. following the police. I seen that yeah, video. Start, bro, uh, like, let me tell you this. Hold on. Let me tell you this about this video, and I'll debunk this video. And there's a person who hasn't been in Chicago for a while. I'm going to tell y'all this real quick. I personally believe that was not a cop. People who are not from Chicago do not know that that's not a cop vehicle. If you know those vehicles, the medical vehicles from the hospital, they had the same thing. They got weird colors and stuff on them. They kind of painted like cop cars. You didn't see the side of the car that said police or Chicago police. And the back of that car looked a really, really lime green. And that led me to believe that this is a medical van um, or a medical truck security type thing as opposed to a real cop. Because in my head, you is not chasing no cop no matter what. And if you is chasing the cop, 
he gonna lead you to some more cops or have some more cops coming on you real quick. It's not gonna be you're not gonna be doing that. But to feed everybody narrative and everybody who don't know Chicago, yeah, Chicago just crazy. We chase no, you chase the uh, hospital security who probably wasn't even armed. Well, that was only half of the video. The first half was definitely a cop. <laughs> well, I see. I seen the video when they was in the, the car and he was chasing the back of the car. Yeah, that was the second half of the video. The first half, he pulled up on the cop, talking crazy. The cop is screwed off on him, the camera on him. Like, that was definitely the cop. Nah. Point is, if it's a cop, y'all wild enough to go. Y'all yeah. got to stop wilding trying to go viral, bro. But that's what it is, though. Like this is the and, and apparently that kid, that kid got locked up for um a, a case involving a, a, a minor. Um, What'd you say? He he got alleged for Who? unaliving a minor. The person from that video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's the case he just caught. Allegedly, they say he unalived the minor or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's a whole crap. That didn't hit my crazy, algorithm. Yeah, shout out, okay. shout out the trenches news. He ain't let me know that yet. Trenches talked about it. Oh, he, he did? I didn't see that video yet, Dan. Hey, Maybe that's thing, the new video today that I didn't see. One thing I say about trenches, bro, if anything happened in Chicago, trenches got it 10 minutes later, bro. Like, Been following trenches since the first trenches. time he started posting it. Glad to see him uh, blowing up. Y'all go support his book. Go follow him. Trenches News. You know what? I'm going to say this about Trenches, bro, because everybody, you know, he he did what he did, right? He did what he did, bro. But this is I don't know nothing about what he did. Man, he, he I don't know, know nothing about nothing. I just listened to the news. Listen, tren- Trenches, Trenches talk about it. This is what I respect about Trenches, though. He like the only one that did what he did and stood on all ten toes. I ain't. I did it. This why I did it. Whatever. I ain't in the streets no more. Like, Trenches stood on it and, like, most of the dudes, when they started doing it, I'd be like, I mean, I'm a square, bro. I'm not in the streets doing nothing. So it was like, I could just do whatever I want to. But the fact Trenches stood on it, he ain't going to no BS or trying to, like, twist the narrative like some people did. You know what I'm saying? Um, Butter. You know what I'm saying? Like, Trenches just stood on it. Like, I did what I did. It is what it is. And, like, just, stand on your truth, bro. Butter, from where he uh, was at and who he uh, rock with, he would have he would have knew me back then. I'll just say that. He would have knew me if I was, like, 10 years later. In Chicago, in my teenage years, he yeah. would have knew me. But a funny dude. I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad he didn't because I probably wouldn't be here right now. I tell you right, I'm not built for the stuff that they're going through. Or maybe I would have had to been. Who knows? You maybe you would've maybe been I would have. Maybe I would have. You'd have been FBG uh, sincere. <laughs> 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 FBG <laughs> Craig. <laughs> F- nope. Nobody would have called you Nobody that, bro. Nope. Not even with the Friday show? Nah, bro. Not even not even with Friday. I couldn't be just FBG Craig. Nope. FBG Day Day? Nothing. They'd have to give you they'd have to give you a different name. Craig. Yeah. You, bro, nobody gonna be Shooker Craig. Maybe I would have no been. Fear, nobody. Maybe I would have been. Who, who you with? FBG Spoke. Man, me, 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 JJ, Bobo, CC, and Craig. Craig. Yeah. You come with a nigga. Craig the Craig. wildest one. Man, I'm, Man, I'm, I'm Craig is the wildest though. one. He got the most to prove. Nobody take him serious because his name. <laughs> Look, if your name was Craig in the streets, bro, you have to be wild. That's what I'm saying. Because to say your name, they got to be like, oh, the Craig. Like, yeah. They got to they gotta call you the Craig. That yeah, I'd have been, been a madman out there, man. You don't know, man. King Craig out here. <laughs> Let me stop, man. Before you get me in a gang beat. Let me stop joking. <laughs> 